here is investment specialist Yvonne Del Rey with First Ontario Credit Union, a licensed uh, who's licensed under the Credential Asset Management yes. to uh, to provide investment advice on this Wealth Wednesday, and we're talking about retirement savings and the difference between using an RRSP or a TFSA. Yes, yeah. So the positive thing is that the government has given Canadians many different savings vehicles to be using. The downside to that is, is sometimes it's how do we know which one to be using, specifically when we're talking about retirement savings. Does it depend on which stage you're at in your career? Like if it's very, very early, should you go one or the other? Or if you're close to retirement or about to retire, should you be considering? So I think when you are early on, I think when you are thinking about retirement savings, okay, so stick with, okay, I'm going to do an RSP because we know that that is spe specifically designed for retirement savings. Um, stick with your tax-free savings when you know you have other goals that you want to be saving for. As you get through your career, though, and you are establishing higher um, income levels, you are looking at what do you have for pensions, that's when we really need to focus outside of just the traditional. So when we look at RSPs, one of the main features is that your contribution is tax deductible. So you get tax relief when you put it in, but then you also have to remember that on the flip side, when you remove the money, it is going to be added to your taxable income. So it's gonna put you in a spot where you are having to pay taxes. So you're basically RSP contributions, just push the tax further into the future. Mm -hmm. Tax free savings, you don't get that. When you put it in, it doesn't get deducted from your income, so you don't get a tax break, but then later on it doesn't get added to your income when you remove it. Okay, and you just get the tax free portion of, of what it earns in, yes. while it's in there. Yes. Now, you mentioned something about pensions. Very few people are fortunate anymore to have pensions, but it can be a real, I don't want to say it's a problem, it's a problem we, we wish we'd had, right? When, um, that your income may be too higher. Yes, so this, is, so this is the rule of thumb and this is where the planning comes in and as you go through your career and you're establishing uh, pension plans and you are increasing your income and things like this, this is where we have to start thinking about this. So if you are in a higher tax bracket, marginal tax rate when you are employed versus when you are in retirement, RSPs are where you want to be contributing for your retirement savings because the rebate that you get is going to be less than what you're going to be paying in income tax when you're retired. If you are going to be in a higher tax bracket when you retire. And that could be if you have multiple pensions too. It is if you've got a very good pension, if you've got multiple pensions, you could, it happens rarely, but it does happen where you are in a higher tax bracket, marginal tax rate when you retire than when you are working. Therefore, RSPs actually work against you because the rebate that you get is going to be less than what you pay when you actually pull it out. Okay, and that's contributing to an RSP at that point, right? Because you, you have to stop when, is, is it 72? At 71, 71 is when you have to convert RSPs into what they call RIFs, which is now turning it into an income stream. Okay. You can do it earlier, but that is where the government says, okay, you've done this savings long enough, now you have to start using this money, and that's when you have to start withdrawing it. There's some minimums, and you can talk to your advisor exactly how that works. But, and we'll talk about that another Wealth yes. Wednesday, <laughs> how to riff, but um, that's when you have to start drawing from it. Okay, I think that's the best explanation I've ever heard for Good. when and, and, and at what time yeah. to, uh, to do and that. And we really, want, we really want people to be thinking about mm -hmm. it because I don't yes. want RSPs to work against you. They're supposed to work for, for you. you. And right. we want all of these tax breaks to work for you. And we want all these savings plans to work for you. So I always say, dream, plan, achieve. So plan, and then you can achieve your dreams. Okay, Yvonne, looking forward to our next Wealth Wednesday. Thanks Thank very you. much. We'll get all uh, of your socials up on our website.